So after you're dealt your 10 cards, all the players are going to sort their hands. The way I like to sort my hand in this game is all the trump is going to go from highest to lowest on the left-hand side. So the jack of clubs is the highest card that I have, followed by the jack of hearts. And remember, the queens are higher than the jacks, and the jacks are higher than any of the diamonds. So go back to a previous video and watch the ranking of the trump. Um, so once everybody has dealt, uh, gotten their cards, and everybody has time to sort their cards, starting from the left of the dealer, um, everybody, uh, including the dealer, has one chance to pick, um, quote, uh, so you're either going to pick up the blind or you're going to pass. So if you pick up the blind, let's say I decide off of this hand, I think I'm going to win the hand. I think I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to say I'm going to pick up the blind. What's going to happen is that these two unseen cards, which end up being the eight of spades in this case, and another trump, the jack of diamonds, you can integrate them into your hand and then discard any two cards that you want. They can be non-point cards, they could be point cards to help you towards um, your total. Now, the goal, if you decide to pick, is to gain 61 or more card points by yourself against the other two players um, in order to win the hand. So if you think you have a strong enough hand um, after exchanging the two cards, um, that's basically saying, I'm going to pick up the hand and I'm going to try and get 61 or more card points. Now, if you don't think your hand is strong enough to pick up the blind and go by yourself, uh, you can pass. Now, like, let's say the player on my left here says pass, and this player picks up, then myself and my player to my, my left are automatically partners and the goal of the partners is to set the picker um, in order to set the picker it's very it can be very simple you just want to get them to not grab 61 or more card points um, so those are your two options after the deal you're either going to pick at the blind basically saying hey I think I can get 61 card points by myself against the other two. Um, and if you don't, you say pass. Uh, the next thing is that if everybody passes, there's a couple of ways you can deal with um, if everybody passes. The first is the same dealer just gets to redeal. Um, same process, three, four, three, ten cards, two in the middle. They can redeal. Or you can double the value the point values of the next hand, so you can double the next hand for score, or you can play what's called least, and I will discuss that a little bit later. Um, so that that's basically the whole thing. After the deal, you're either going to pick up the blind and go by yourself, getting 61 or more card points, or you're going to pass. If everybody passes, then as a table, uh, before each game, actually, you should decide either if everybody passes, you're going to um, redeal the hand. Every time everybody passes, you're going to double the point values of the next hand, or you're going to play for least points. So you have to decide that against uh, amongst yourselves at the table. Uh, but let's actually get into the next thing, which is the actual card playing of the game.